Hi guys, welcome to Freshersscam.com. Here we are with the other topic of aptitude, profit and loss. Before going in detail about the topic, let me tell you about our channel. Here you get all the latest interview tips, job notifications and all other exam notifications. Additionally, we also provide material for placement papers and other government exams. Watch the video till end and do not forget to press the bell icon for daily updates. Uh, but I think we should discuss the homework problem first, which I gave you in the last video of speed, distance and time. So this was the first question of the homework problem. A train overtake two persons walking along a railway track. The first one walks is 4.5 km per hour. Other one walks as 5.4 km per hour. The train needs 8.5 and 8.4 seconds respectively to overtake them. What is the speed of the train if both the person are walking in the same direction as the train? I already told you that if person are walking in the same direction, then we always minus the speeds, right? So you can see here as I have done. 4.5 km per hour and 4.5 into 5 by 18 to convert it into meter per second and then we are getting 1.25 meter per second same we did with the another speed 5.4 km per hour so 5.4 into 5 by 18 meter per second to get 3 meter upon 2 seconds which will be equal to 1.5 meter per second we have considered the speed of the train be x meter per second, right? We know that for uh, we are given 1.5 meter to this speed we have already calculated in the question. But other speed of the train we know it is x and I told you as we subtract the speeds. So x minus 1.25 and into 8.4 this is the time of the train of the first train we get x minus 1.25 into 8.5 and you can easily see by solving this equation we get x is equals to 0 2.25 this is x which means speed of the train so speed of the train is 2.25 sorry 22.5 into 18 by 5 which is equals to 81 km per hour, right? We have calculated this 22.5 in meter per second. But the resultant answer should be always in kilometer per hour. So here we have the answer. So let's understand the second question. A boy runs opposite to that of a train at a speed of 20 km per hour. If the relative speed between train and the boy running in opposite direction is 50 km per hour, what is the length of the train if it takes 20 seconds to cross the boy when he is at rest? We know very well speed is equals to distance upon time. Relative speed of the uh, will be speed of train plus speed of boy. Total speed will be speed of train plus speed of boy. As an opposite direction, we always add the speeds because opposite attract each other. So 50 is equals to 50 is the relative speed given in question is equals to speed of train plus speed of boy and speed of boy is 20 which is also provided in the question. So speed of train will be 50 minus 20 which is equals to 30 km per hour. Now we are converting this 30 km per hour into meter per second because of 20 seconds which is given in the question. Either you can convert this 20 seconds in two minutes to solve this or you can convert the speed into meter per second so we are converting the speed from kilometer per hour to meter per second by multiplying by 5 by 18 which we will get 8.33 meter per second so this is our speed now distance is equals to speed up into time and we know the speed is 8.33 and time is given in question 20 seconds so distance is 166.6 meters i hope you are clear with the problems let me know about your queries in the comment section below feel free to contact us so let's discuss about the topic now 
so the topic is profit and loss uh, basics let's let us start with the basics okay so let us suppose if if you are buying a chocolate let's say from a shop and the shopkeeper takes it at rupees 20 okay and he sells you that chocolate which he received at rupees 20 to rupees 30 so this is the cost price and this 30 is the selling price you can see that if he buys a chocolate at 20 and sells at 30 this is a profit right he is receiving 10 rupees so this is very easy to say profit is equals to selling price minus so profit will be selling price minus cost price so this is the main formula for profit you can say profit is equals to selling price minus cost price similarly you can say about loss loss will always be cost price minus selling price we will explain it with the same example uh, let's say this is a chocolate shopkeeper buys it at 20 and sold it at 30 okay so this is a profit case if i have to explain about loss let's say shopkeeper buys it on 40 rupees and sells it at 30 then it will be at loss so profit and loss both mainly depend on the cost price sometimes in questions you will be asked to calculate the loss percent or the profit percent so what is a loss percent loss percent will be calculated as loss upon cost price and into 100 similarly profit percent will be calculated as profit upon cost price into 100 these are the main basic formula for solving any of the profit loss problem and this will be more than enough if you understand these problems and these formulas okay uh, we will be more clear with the help of examples so let's solve one or more questions to get more clear so the first problem is alfred buys an old scooter for 4700 rupees and spends 800 on its repair if he sells the scooter for rupees 5800 his gain percent is okay so the cost price in the question is 4700 and he spends 800 rupees on its repair which means he buys the scooter at 4700 rupees but for the maintenance he paid 800 so overall cost price which he got the scooter was 4700 plus 800 that is 5500 so the selling price is 5800 now next part of the question if if he sells the scooter at 5800 rupees which means the selling price is 5800 we have to calculate the gain percent which means profit percent so the profit is sp minus cp so sp is 5800 and 5500 is cp which is equals to 300 rupees profit for profit percent we are calculating profit upon cost price in 200 which is equals to 54.55% let's move on to the second question the cost price of 20 articles in the same as selling price of x article let cp of e okay so uh, the cost price of 20 articles is same as the selling price of x articles if the profit is 25% then the value of x is okay so we have to calculate the cp so we consider that cp of each article be rupees 
and we have 20 articles given so cp of x article will be x if cp of one article will be one then cp of x article will be x and sp of x article will be 20 which is given in the question that cost price of 20 articles is same as the selling price of x articles right so selling price of x article is rupees 20 profit is equals to we know sp minus cp sp is 20 and cp we don't know the cost price right so 20 minus x is a profit upon x which we have assumed here up into 100 which is equals to 25 and you can see 2000 minus 100 x is equals to 25 so we can solve this equation by 125x is equals to 2000 which will come as an answer x is equals to 16. Let's move on to the third problem. If the selling price is doubled, the profit triples and we have to calculate the profit percent. So we consider CPBX, SPBY. In the question we have given, if selling price is doubled, then profit triples. We always know that profit is equals to SP minus CP. So we can say Yeah, so uh, profit triples, right? So 3y minus x is equals to selling and uh, this was the second part, the profit triples. First part says if selling price is doubled. So 2y minus x because selling price is doubled and selling price we have considered as y. So 2y minus x, we can calculate this as y minus 2x. Profit is, we know y minus x, but y is equals to 2s according to this. So 2x minus x. And profit is rupees x let's say so profit percent will be profit upon cost price into 100 profit is x and cost price was also x which is profit percent is equals to 100 percent so before wrapping up I am giving you a homework problem a vendor bought toffees at 6 for, for a rupee how many for a rupee must he sell to gain 20 percent and we have four options for this which are given below so you can note it down or you can take a screenshot and please let me know about your queries in the comment section and give the answer in the comment section so that I can see you are learning do not forget to subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for daily updates like comment and share the video thank you